Hello and welcome to the first video in the Budget Fishing channel. I've created this channel because not everyone is able to afford very, very expensive fishing equipment. Uh, if you're anything like me, uh, children, life, mortgage, rent, whatever it is gets in the way of you purchasing four or five hundred pound items that you would like. Now, there's not a lot of reviews on the budget stuff, so I've decided to do one on a set of bite alarms that I've recently purchased for an overnight session as and when uh, restrictions allow. Now, I had a look round, budget was about 130 quid, uh, I couldn't find many reviews apart from some very, very basic ones that people had done. Uh, which didn't really give much of an insight into some of the equipment that was being used. So, after all of that, I had a quick look round and I stumbled across a set from NGT. Now, because I wanted to do an overnight session, I wanted a receiver so I could leave the bite alarms outside and have something inside the bivvy to turn round and let me know if there had been um, some sort of indication on any of the lines or a run or something like that without waking up half a lake. So. I have stumbled across the NGT Dynamic Wireless Bite Alarm Set. Now, it comes with three bite alarms and a receiver and a bivvy light as well, which if you can get it to hook up, it will uh, flash up as and when you get a, light, uh, a bite. So here's just a quick oversight of these alarms. Now, now as you can see, the alarms come in a lovely little carry case uh, with a plastic sleeve around it with obviously your lovely little pictures. On the back is a set of um, information with regards to the capabilities, what they can do and so on and so forth, what's included. Um, sliding the sleeve off, when you open up the case, it is all lovely and padded with the cutouts for your alarms and your receiver. Um, there's also a loose belt clip in there, so just go careful if you open that up. The receiver itself, nice and simple. It has an on-off switch at the top here. It has your um, tone on the side there and your volume on the other side. Now, the on-off switch will also go to vibrate if you flick it the other way. So, all very nice and easy to use. There's a pairing switch on the side, which if you follow the instructions is very easy to set up with the alarms. With regards to the alarms, at the moment they are set up on the rods. I will show you a picture of those in a second. But they're very easy. Screw onto a, a thread on a rod holder. Um, they've come with the snag ears and everything, so very, very nice and simple. So the instructions come in the alarm box. Now, as you can see, we have the snag ears, uh, a multicolor LED. We've got the tone dial, uh, the multi-color uh, LED dial, so you can change the color of the LED on each alarm. We have the volume dial here, and we have the sensitivity dial here, so you can make it uh, really nice and sensitive, or if the wind's blowing too much or something along those lines, you might want to turn the sensitivity down. There is a power output at the bottom for your um, for your bite bobbins, if you have, want to use the light up ones, and you have the power switch here, which is on, off, and night. Now, if you've got them on, they will make a noise. If you've got them on night, they will light up um, and then work with the receiver uh, from what I have found out so far. The receiver, as I've already mentioned, it's uh, nice and straightforward. There's a couple of switches on there and then it's uh, very, very easy to pair up. If you open the instructions up, you will find the battery installation and the ins um, pairing instructions. Now you've got to hold down a button before you turn it on. You have to trigger one of the bite alarms and then set your LED that you want to have that bite alarm trigger. You then turn it off and then go on and through it and do that again for each of your bite alarms to set them up. With regards to the quality of the components so far, um, I can have no complaints. The plastics feel very good. The installation of the battery is very, very easy. The bite alarms and the receiver all take a 9 volt battery. Um, you've got a little bit on the back here which you slide off with a little bit of force. Um, 9 volt battery goes in there. It is exactly the same as the um, alarm receivers themselves. The alarms themselves, sorry. The bivvy light, it ha comes in a separate uh, box. The instructions aren't as clear on this. Now, um, it's nice and easy. On the back of it, there is a magnetic strip, which you peel off. That can go on the outside of your bivvy. That goes on the top, um, and then it will magnetically connect. 
If you turn around and uh, unscrew the back, you can get into it. You will find an on off switch there. You've got the brightness uh, switch there to change the brightness of the LEDs when it's on. And then you've got the delay time here. Uh, this takes three AAA batteries. Um, so there are quite a few batteries in the initial uh, setting up of this, but from experience, the, they do tend to last a little bit of time. I've not been able to pair this up with the alarms yet. Um, I will work out how to do that, and if I can, I will let you know. Um, but the whole set came off of eBay, and it was $129.95 for all of it, and that included postage. It arrived within about three days, which I don't think was too bad. Um, and so far I can have absolutely no complaints whatsoever. Now, just to give, quickly show you, I've got the receiver in hand here. Rods are all set up, as I mentioned. So, as you can see, that will indicate that one. The next one, and so on and so forth. Um, you can set the tone for each one so it's all nice and easy. Um, and you can differentiate between them all without having to necessarily look at the LED lights. Um, fingers crossed, I've been here for a couple of hours at the moment, they've not been used in anger, but uh, hopefully we'll have a bite soon. If you'd like to see more of the stuff that you struggle to find reviewed, then please feel free to su subscribe, I will add videos as and when. Um, if there's anything you would like to see reviewed in particular, please don't hesitate to put that in the comments, and uh, hopefully we will uh, get plenty more information for you soon.